Hello, what is up? So, I have finally installed FSR 4 into this game and it seems to be working fine. Um, I've even got frame generation working with it. So you will need fake MVAPI, Optiscala, this uh, latest version, and DLSSG to FSR 3 frame gen. I'll link all these files in the description. But you need to follow my instructions exactly, listen very carefully. Because I know people, they uh, tell me it's crashing and all that, but you've got to really follow my instructions. So for this one, so what you've got to do, you first of all, you've got to load up the game and make sure it's set to XESS, not FSR, because I think it crashes with FSR. Uh, so you don't want to make sure it's not on that. Uh, we will be using it for DLSS inputs, but I'd say set it to XESS. Uh, as long as you follow these instructions, it should work fine. So first of all, what I'd suggest is go properties, open folder where your game's installed in the Ubisoft folder. Uh, so you want to, first of all, you want to put these files in so just highlight these don't matter about that license but I'll just copy it so you copy that and you're gonna to wanna to paste that in there like that and then the second thing you gotta do is uh these fake and vappy files you got to copy them and paste that in so that's the first thing you do then you need to load up the game and i'll show you i don't know their servers are playing up so i can't even access my latest file which is uh annoying i've i've had that before sometimes their servers play up so you can't access the cloud It seems that they don't, it was crashing on launch before the update and stuff like that, but it seems to be alright. So, I think this update has improved the stability of it. Although you do need to, as I said, turn this music down. You've got to listen to what, do it exactly in the order I'm telling you to do it. Bloody sound is all right. All right, so what you got to do? So I've got it on Dill SS, but ignore that. So you need to set it to that first. So set it to that. Uh, don't worry about that. So make sure it's on the XESS, apply it. I'm not going to do it. Um, exit the game. So now you got it on that. So now it's on XESS, make sure it's on that. Uh, open the game folder. Then this is where you install Optiscaler. So you just copy that paste it in uh, that's pretty much it so uh, obviously you do the all this so you'll be pasting that in and then uh, just do one for AMD enter one for DLSS inputs enter and then it'll come up, enjoy the game uh, with Optiscala. So you do that exactly the same way as we usually do it. That. So then the next thing you've got to do, load the game up. So 
some reason it does that, so I'll click that. I'll click this game, and I'll do all and enter to get the full screen. I don't know why it does that. So a couple of games do that. But it definitely works now. So. Alright, so what you'll have is uh, now you've installed this. You want to put that on there. So that it's got to be Newcomb's DOSSG. You do that. You, uh, you don't have to apply, you just save it here. And then uh, you might have to restart the game for that to come up to work usually do so you probably have to restart the game come back into the game so load it up again and that'll be on and then uh so oh you activate it so that that's the frame generation so you can use the oss here this is what i've done so i'll just turn it off all right so it's off all right so and then you You'll have to put it, so it'll be on XCSS for you, so then you go to the right, you apply it to DOSS. So once you've done that, then you just go FSR 3.x, apply it, and then it come up FSR 4.0.1. So do that. That's pretty much it. So then I'm, I'm going to go into the game. And I have noticed a difference with her, uh, because we're not getting any with a busted data spike. Come on, next. Let's see Breven. Then we break into Kleptarsis and steal the forged identity from the safe. I'm actually game out. With any so luck, getting about seventy we'll FPS. Let us shuttle to the core worlds. I'm for that. Okay. She be the direct light. Let's just turn this down a bit. I haven't put that NVIDIA tech on the direct lighting in, but... Yeah, I mean, uh... So that, what I noticed was, um... If we go to here... Yeah, I mean, that, that is shimmering a lot worse. FSR 3.1. So these are the differences I was noticing before. Yeah, that is worse, dramatically worse. But, so you press insert to get that menu up, by the way. Uh, so you put it back to FSR 4.0.1. You got to change it here when you change it. There. Save it. Right. Seems to be loading in a bit. That is that is more stable now compared to before. So this game does have uh, this is at full in full here as well. So I'm on the uh, oh, quality. The are oh. out for the Canto Cup. Right, so see it's a lot more stable. Slow shift. Put it there again. Just get more shimmering. See how should be able to see it. I mean it's there's more instability even when you're standing still. A lot of shakedowns tonight. Bullies will be loaded with credits. And now that is, there's less instability around the final lines. So, that's what you want. That's definitely a lot more stable. The aliasing is a lot better. And just cleans up the overall image as well. In terms of stability. Uh, see if we can find something else. 
Let's have a look at this. Fucking move that. That's better. So they change it, see if we can know it's different anyway. That not too bad, they are. But there are certain areas in the game where you will see it dramatically clear, clear up on the FSR 4. Let's have a look at this bit. Yeah, if you look at the steps, you saw they lose a bit of resolution. But on FSR 4, yeah, it's much more defined in detail. So you're getting, uh, it's getting, giving you a more realistic uh, visual difference there. And you change up. If you look at them steps, if we get a bit closer. Yeah, see, you get you get in these dark patches, which don't look great. If that, was she decided to walk in the way? <laughs> Difficult. Oh, I'll have to wait. So you see them dark patches clear up. I don't want to have to walk in the way. So. All right. Yeah, so you're getting more dark areas there. Uh, Yeah, cleans up. First so little things like that, and there, there's going to be worse cases with it because I would when I was playing it on FSR three, I was noticing a lot of like weird shadow effects and shimmering. But this should just clear it up on FSR four. So what we'll do. So that deal SS. So what this file does, this one here, it allows you this Nukem frame gen. It allows you to put use the DLSS frame gen to so apply that. Alright, there, see now that's loaded it in. Because obviously you've got to use the DLSS preset. Yeah, I mean, it is definitely better than FSR 3.1. You wouldn't believe the junk they just throw away. So it's very dark here, that's the only thing. Uh, you know that six kin territory. Yeah, well, they chased me out of there. Dropped my credit clip, too. I have to get it later. Gotta give them a chance to cool off. Definitely, yeah. As I said before, FSR 3.1. 3.1 on here. It's not terrible. It's not a bad implementation, to be fair. But you do see, it depends where you go in the game, you will see it where 3.1 will have some issues. And if you look at that, the light in there, it's not as detailed, it's not as clean. And it improves it once you go to FSR 4. Yeah, it's like you can't see the lines as much between the little lights. It's just better, it's more detailed, the actual design. So that's pretty much what it does, along with a lot of other things. But yeah, I've been waiting to get FSR 4 in this game. Because uh, obviously you want it as in as many games as possible. Oh, need my data spike to break into this. That way we could have a look at this. That's 
So we put that to F star 3.1. Yeah, it's definitely it's better on FSR 4. It's definitely not too bad since they've updated it. I think it might be a bit better since they've updated uh, the latest 3.1 move. Because FSR 3 was in the game, and that is a lot worse than 3.1. FSR 3. But even that wasn't looking terrible, but it had ghosting and stuff. So. And uh, just. It wasn't as clean with the grass when you was walking past it. Don't see what goes on here. But it's definitely better on FSR 4. Yeah. So what it is, it's not as prominent like the actual black circles around the lights. And it's more detailed once you go to FSR 4. I don't know if it's coming through on the video, but I can clearly see it. So that's pretty much it. So as long as you follow my instructions, that should work no problem. FSR4. So I'll link the files in the description. I'll do it step by step what you got to do. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.